Hello everybody, it's Bordrick Sodoff here, and this is the first game I've played this Friday, and first time I've ever played Nuketown Zombies on this PC. I've only played Nuketown Zombies about four times, so not much. I know all the basics about it, but it looks great on this computer. I know the quality on YouTube doesn't look as good, but you'll see what I mean. You can see all the background, the lightning. Let's see what we got. Let's have a look. We got Quick Revive. Not bad. Let's kill this zombie. Easy. Alright, where's the teddy bear? There we go, got one. There we go. Killed him. Easy peasy. I like the Olympia over the M14. Don't know why I lost bullets, but it's got a bigger kick. Now, let's head towards the random box, which is there. As you can see, the light's right there. If she could go into this area, that would have been great to add. My concentration's fairly low on this now, since I haven't played for a, f a while. Let's say about a week. So, first game of a week, let's see how I do. I want to get at least to around 9, then I'll be satisfied. And I want to also, in some later videos, I also want to pack a punch for MK48. And this other machine gun. I'm not sure what it's called. It's the M something. This just looks spectacular, this map. Let's get this on there. I know you meant to knife him on round two, but I don't want to take risks. You can hear the moon easter egg being done. I've never done a moon easter egg because I never had a moon when it was when people were doing easter eggs for it. So yeah. Unfortunately I never did it. You can hear the click of the uh, clock. I haven't really particularly researched what it does, but I think it has something to do when, when the perks spawn. This area here sucks for training, but later on when you open up the houses, it gets better. It sounded like there was a zombie right next to me, so I got scared for a bit. There we go. Nice headshot there. They've, they've ridiculously made this gun suck. And there's no wonder weapons, unfortunately, in this map. That was like a double shot glitch. Anyway, let's open up this area here. See what we have. Oh, nice. That Alavet gun. I pack punch that on transit. It's awesome. What else we have? Nothing here. But it looks nice. Can we go up here? It's obviously blocked for some unknown reason. There's obviously a fire there and I can hear a teddy bear. Won't worry about it now, I'll get it later. Probably on the outside somewhere. Oh, go to the mystery box. Here we are. We'll just hold off till I get 9:50. Sounds like a plan. I love how the light just shines up. But look at that nuke. It's epic. Let's have a look. Let's have a little bit of a look. 
That is a massive crater for a nuke. Alright, let's play seriously now. Don't know what that is. It's like a weird tornado. If I should have made this as powerful as a double barrel in World at War, that would have been the best. Sounds like Derisa now with that siren. A good place to get zombie information is of uh, the Call of Duty wiki. And it's got a lot on zombies. I can assure you that that's where I get most of my information from in some YouTube videos. Alright, let's hit the box. Alright, SMR. Hate this gun. Just sucks. It's, that's, it just is really bad. Oh yes, we got Jug. Photo speed collar or something. Like, how can they put a gun this shit into the game? Sometimes try out. But this is a good map. So remember guys, first time I've ever launched, second time I've launched it on my PC, I just did it to test it once and I didn't play. I just quit right afterwards. Well, I didn't even start, I just looked if it was there. So yeah, first time. I've played it at a few friends' houses. But, yeah, I'm not really an expert on this map. Let's finish this zombie. Got him. Need to get some Jugmanog. What's at the back of a perk machine? It's like nothing. I'm gonna have to split this into a part series because it will be too big to upload. But I'm looking forward to it. I'll put it when I. I'll fast forward it to when I get jug. <laughs>